My name is Warren Chan. I'm a professor and director of the Institute of Biomedical Engineering at the University of Toronto. We work on developing nanotechnology for the treatment and detection of diseases, specifically for cancer and infectious diseases. So what we do is we actually take a solution, go nanoparticles, and we can actually inject it directly into a, a tumor. And after you inject it in, you can now add some light and the light will produce heat. And then when it produces heat, it essentially burns off the, the tumor cells. And that's essentially how you can remove the tumor. The other application people are talking about is in the same light. Uh, one is during surgery. So when you have cancer, a surgeon goes in and cuts off the tumor. The idea now is to actually add now nanoparticles to the site, it finds the, the cancer cells. And then while the tissue is open, now you can shoot light. And then you essentially burn off the residual tumors that a surgeon cannot see. You can actually take a gold nanoparticle and use it as a template. You can actually put molecules on the surface, could be polymers, proteins, and what you can do is you actually create a shell that's an organic layer. And afterward, you can actually remove the gold nanoparticle. And then after that, you can now store your chemotherapeutic drugs in the center of the nanoparticle, inject it into the patients, and you can design it so that it only releases the drug at that final site. And the reason we want to use that templated approach is because the gold nanoparticles can design in different size, shapes, and chemistries. And we know now that the size and the shape and the chemistry has an influence of how fast they get to the cancer site, how long do they get stuck in certain healthy tissues, or how they interact with cells or get taken up cells. And gold nanoparticles is the only system where you have the diversity of engineering for different sizes, shapes, that you can actually develop this technique for. So my lab and a number of our labs, what we're trying to do is develop a blueprint, right? So if you have a cancer that's at stage two, what's the design of your nanoparticle? Is it a 50 nanometer or an 80 nanometers? And so this is what we're actually doing is trying to now design a library of nanoparticles, inject it into right now a mouse model with a tumor, and we can actually now map out which design fits best for which tumor size or tumor type or tumor stage.